everyone. Welcome to this Friday night edition of me and Pumpkin showing you what I found from the Dollar Tree. And he's having a lot of fun with this cabinet shelf here. As usual, I like to start off with anything that is practical and convenient and not really super fun and exciting, but just something that's going to make the home get more organized or something that would have been a lot more money somewhere else. And I just am happy that I found it something sturdy at the Dollar Tree. So again, that is Pumpkin and he thinks this wire thing is pretty fun. I'm either going to put it in the first aid slash uh, like toiletries area or I'm not sure where else actually that I'm going to put this. So I think it's going to go there. And Pumpkin and I want to thank you for watching our video. Um, I'm not going to get on the camera tonight because I've had a bit of bittersweet news where um, I've been pretty emotional and um, the makeup was running and I just um, not want really to want to show my face right now. So I'm just going to show you the goodies that we found at the Dollar Tree instead. And no, Pumpkin did not go with me to the store but he thinks it's his job to be on my bed all the time. So if you like Dollar Tree hauls and if you like what you see on my channel, please give me a little bit of uh, indication by clicking the, the thumbs up. I'd love to have you come back and keep on sharing together. So the next thing I found was this sink mat. I needed something to make sure that the anything glass doesn't break when it goes down. So I needed a little bit of a buffer in the sink. The next thing is another one of these really sturdy cups. So this right here, this <clears throat> is BPA free. I don't drink out of plastic unless I have nothing else. And I try always to make sure it's BPA free because I've had some trouble with um, like cysts and stuff like that. And I just know that if you drink from plastic, there is a risk that um, there could be some chemicals that could give you some problems with your ovaries. So uh, I'm a little out of breath too. I haven't used my inhaler yet tonight. So I'm going to do that and keep on showing you what else we have. But this should keep my tea or my hot chocolate hot longer or maybe hopefully keep my smoothies cold longer. So that'll be fun. It's got a nice strong thing there and it's wide enough for a straw. So this top screws off and there's a nice grip right there couple more useful things for kitchen life or etc. So these are the condiment cups with the lids. There's 10 of them and it'll be easy to send ranch dressing or dipping sauces with my kids to school for lunch. I found one of these. Um, we're going to hang our belts or jerseys on them and uh, it's good for belts until we find something else. So that will be useful. It goes right on over the door. Here's a Betty Crocker turner. It's really wide. I've never had one this wide before. It's nice and sturdy. I recently melted one by accident by having it too near a burner when it was hot. And then I really like finding these covers for covering up your leftovers or your whatever, your keep your things fresh. Um, it takes the guesswork out of trying to come up with the right size of um, plastic wrap. So that looks good. I picked up actually five boxes of these. My little friend, he's wondering what I'm up to. He doesn't get it. So here's a box of six soft bristle toothbrushes with a little stand. Um, I'm just going to keep these on hand. I'm not going to use this container for anything. Like I'm not going to store them in this after we open them. I've already actually broken into it and taken out the pink one because I needed a toothbrush. So that'll be convenient to have a storage of five extra. Yep. So I already opened that thought this was pretty interesting. Disposable cleansing washcloths. I'm interested to see the texture and like how sturdy they are and how um, how well they will clean my face. So I um, want to see if it's like gentle for face or if it's good for any part other parts. Um, might want to use it on my arms or something, but that'll be nice. And I want to see how good they smell as well, but I'm not going to open them right now. 
So this was pretty interesting too. I like to go to the medicine section and I've never seen one of these before. So this will be interesting. I think this is something that my sons could use after a game or whatever. If they're like pulling a muscle or they have a bruise or anything, you can just rub it on. I think it'll be easy for them to use and it will probably be nice and look tingly and distracting from the pain. I like incense, but I've never burned it myself, so I wanted to get a holder. I like to go to a store called Dave's Nutrition out here. They have incense. I always like to smell them, but I never bought one. So now I have something I can use. I have to make sure I don't burn it around the kitties, though. Here we have Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Just kidding. We have a very fine steel... Uh, bristled pet brush and I actually tried to rub it on my cheek just to see like I didn't press hard and I could barely feel it so um, one of our kitties not this guy but one of our kitties gets a lot of mats in his fur and he doesn't even have long hair but um, we just like to get those mats out with this so my son is going to be excited to use that one and then here this side with the little plastic knobs on the end and then the softer bristles they're not super soft but they're just different i think both of these brushes will be good for both of the kitties i want to try it on you right now you want to smell it sniff it see if it's safe for you he's like oh what is this can i try it on your pumpkin kitty 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 I think I'll wait until my boys come home from their weekend. Let them try it on the kitties. But I was excited about those pet brushes. They seem pretty good quality. So we'll be having fun with those, grooming the kitties. I often, at the Dollar Tree, seem to find something that I do not need. But I just wanted this. Look at that, how cute that is. It reminds me of the ocean. Um, I have one other one, the exact same size and shape, It, but the pattern is... The Eiffel Tower and some romantic lettering and it keeps my cotton swabs in it and not cotton swabs my uh, My cotton pads in it in the bathroom so that I can clean my face And look at these these were super cute The King James version of the New Testament nice gold sides on the pages they're the same basically just for the color and this has the black and the red I'm not sure why some of it is red and why some of it is black because in my big Bible all the ink is black but this will be really nice and the reason why I feel like the King James Version is significant is because I've heard that this is the version of the Bible that is the most authentic to the original writing of the prophets and um Excuse me, I've got a little asthma. Um, so it's the one that's been the least tampered with and the least translated from its original form. So that'll be good. My son wanted one and I wanted one. And I thought if we're each getting one, we'll get another one from my other boy. So we've got two black ones and this white one. Got this cool little sport wrist pouch. It can hold your ID and your keys. So... I haven't tried it on, but hopefully that won't end up being something that's just going to go to the donations bucket pretty fast. Hopefully this will be really useful for me when I go out on my walks or runs. And I don't ever wear my bangs back unless I am working out. So this scunchy brand uh, elastic headband here, I'm interested in trying this out. I like the braid. I like the color. Having two boys and two boy kitties. We don't have a lot of pink and red around here, so I'm excited that I get to wear this speaking of working out I found this for the kids I already have the adult version and here we have got one for the kids so this will be really fun to exercise together and what you do is you roll this little cardboard cardstock die whatever this is thing is whatever number you land on I mean sorry color um, you pick that color of card and then you roll it again and that is going to tell you however many sets you're going to do. I mean, however many reps you're going to do. So this would be fun to do as a family. Then, speaking of exercising and moving your body, 
baseball season is coming up, and if my sons decide to try out again this year, which they have the last couple of years, I'm hoping their baseball days aren't quite over yet because they're not very old. Um, in the snow, because we got a lot of snow, it would be hard to find a baseball if they were throwing that around, but this would be easy to find because it would soar and it would sail, but then it would land in the snow and we would be able to find it pretty easily. Um, <clears throat> found one of these. If you press really hard on these, then they just, um, they stay gray and it doesn't erase, but I just wanted one of these for old time's sake. It's good to be able to use in a pinch if you're really bored with kids. I mean, like if the kid needs something to do and they don't have a device or a toy along, it's good to be able to pull this out, especially in waiting rooms. And then this is the only Valentine's thing I believe I found this time. This is that one where you smack your fist down on it and it inflates into a balloon. Thought that'd be fun to try. I rarely go on the internet to the Dollar Tree website, but I just want to see what they had. And this is one of the things that I saw on there. So I was hoping I'd get a chance to find this. And yes, I walked into the Dollar Tree that next day and found these. I'm going to do a swatch and see how much color there is and if how much ink there is. And I have some really nice gel markers and gel pens. Um, I don't mind sharing them with my kids, but I kind of like them to have their own set of markers too because they like to do color by number and mosaic drawings and I mean yeah mosaic coloring books and stuff like that so that'll be nice that they can have their own color I mean markers uh, my kids are going to a school where there's no ink allowed in the school except by the teachers and so they need a lot of pencils and we have Dixon number two pencils but they really like these better because they don't have to sharpen them and so there's eight in that pack and then 60 refills that was pretty good can't wait to give that to my kids I got these little sticker note flags to keep my documents in order and to mark my spot because I like to do a lot of organizing, journaling, documenting, filing, etc. So there's 100 little 50, 150 little sheets there. I found these cute color your own stickers and there is little gold filigree ornamentation, ornamentation in those. Those are really cute little accents. So I got that hearts one got the flowers which has silver accent that's my kitty my other kitty that's too scared to be on the video and then cute owls look at that those are so cute what a good idea to accent them with gold and silver then I found the Hampton art I didn't get every single stamp uh, package I think there were two or three more that I did not get, but I really liked these. I like the little whims whimsical bird. And I am going to get the kitty down from the shelf. Okay, Matthias, my other kitty, he got up to a place that they normally never go, and he knocked some stuff down. I was surprised at him. That was super naughty, Maddie. All right. Uh, my battery's going to die, so I don't know how good the light's going to be. I'm going to... Just speed through this last couple things. Um, so I really like the whimsical bird and the swirly, you know, the cute little dragonflies and butterflies. And then the sayings on the sides. It's going to be really good for handmade cards. This one got some more butterflies. Some cute heart plants here. A couple more sayings. This one I really liked. These will be really fun to color too with watercolor pens or colored pencils. Really like each one of these. And then here, this is so cute. It's got little mushroom houses and whimsical rainbow, uh, like raindrops or whatever. So that's going to be really fun to use. And then my welcome sign. The only thing I would change about this is I would maybe make the leaves less autumn-y, autumn-ish. More green, less rust and red. But other than that, it's a really cute, really pretty sign. I like it. And then the very last things I found were some of the washi tapes I had my eye out on for. Out, out. <laughs> eye out for. Sorry, it's late. Um, those cute little owls. So darling. With the pink. And then this is the macaroons, and it says Paris in cursive. How cute is that? 
And then the woodland creatures. That is adorable. Little porcupine or hedgehog with some mushrooms and some deer. So um, thanks again for joining me. And I hope that you had fun spending time with me and Pumpkin. And we're going to turn this off and go to bed. But definitely please come back and also give me a nudge if you want me to see your haul videos or your DIYs or whatever. I'd love to check your channel out. Take good care and be safe. Be kind and let go of the junk that you've been holding inside, such as like things from your past. Go and pet a kitty. Um, you know, breathe deep, put on some essential oils in a diffuser, and just relax and try to get rid of stress. That's what I do. That's what I'm trying to do. Pumpkin, kitty, kitty, show us your cute face. Hello, little amber eyes. What a good boy. He likes his chin to be rubbed. Hello, little kitty. All right, thanks, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.